Hi everybody and welcome back to the Teal Pumpkin. I'm so glad you clicked on my channel. Today I have a fun video for you, at least for me. This was my first project that I've done with my husband that involved actually building anything, in my opinion. Uh, my husband and I did board and batten on this one long wall in our hallway. And both of us are very new to DIY and we really don't have a whole lot of tools or anything like that. We used a hammer, um, we used some glue and caulk and um, just some paint and that's about it. Now it did take us a really long time. We started on this in April and probably if we had the correct tools, we could have finished this in possibly a weekend if we knew what we were doing, but it took us quite some time. So hope you'll sit back and enjoy the tour. It took a really, really long time to just hammer every single nail into the wood pieces. I did originally purchase a, gun, a nail gun, but um, I took it back. Again, like I said, I'm totally new to all of this. Um, I didn't realize that I needed to purchase an air compressor and then when we went back to purchase an air compressor, we were completely overwhelmed with what type of air compressor to buy. So completely new to this. So if you guys want to try this and you feel like we did, like there's no way we can do this, you absolutely can. Because if we can do this with a nail and a hammer, then you can do it. It really wasn't that difficult once you try to figure out exactly what it is that you need. The worst part is trying to figure out how to space your boards evenly. Um, but luckily for me, my husband is a math wizard. So I was very thankful that I had him to help. On this wall, we are just placing some new mirrors that I purchased at Hobby Lobby. And then we will get into the finished product. And you guys will have to comment down below and let me know what you think, how you think it turned out. I purchased this plant. It is real. It is a fiddle fig leaf tree and I purchased it from Home Depot for $45. I also purchased the plant, the planter that it's in for $31 at Home Depot. And then I purchased these lights off of um, Amazon. And they were kind of a pain to put together because you had to put each one of those crystals on, but it wasn't too bad. And then I did purchase some new light fixtures. The switch plates is what I mean. Um, the switch plates for um, the lights and for the plugs. I got those in kind of a um, bronze color. So I thought those looked better than just the plain white ones. Thank you. 
This next piece, I love it so much. It was my great, great grandmother's and my mom had it just sitting down in her basement and I took it and I refinished it and then I stained it and I think it looks so pretty. I know it's a little small for the space, but I really wanna keep it there if at all possible. I always change up everything, so it probably won't stay there uh, any length of time, but that's the plan for now. And I just wanna say how much I love getting things that were from my family members. It just means so much to look around your home and see things that you know someone else had them in their home. Yeah, it's cool to thrift and all of that, and I like that, but if you can actually get things that were your family's, I think that is just so cool to me. So that was another shot of the, uh, the lights, and then this is just an overall view of the board and batten. I do have plans to paint my doors. Originally, I thought a dark gray color like the accent wall, but now I'm just not sure what color I want to do. And then another idea that popped in my head, because I'm never, ever finished with anything in my home, um, I will repaint or restain or move or take something from somewhere else. I always have to be redecorating. That's just, I've always been that way. But this wall, I'm thinking that I'm going to build two big, long shelves for this wall. I think it would look really good to put two shelves there because it kind of feels like it's missing something with just the mirror there. And... I told my husband that tonight and he was like, okay, but hopefully I can, I was looking at some tutorials on Pinterest, so hopefully I can figure out how to do it by myself and I won't even need him. That's my goal. So let me know what you think. Should I put two long um, wood, like, maybe a dark stain or maybe like a walnut stain uh, floating shelves there. If you go back and you look when I'm first showing what the hallway looks like, this mirror was on the opposite side and it was a bronze color. And although I liked it, I wanted something to kind of pop against that dark gray wall. So I just used my rub and buff on that. And I think it turned out pretty good. I, I definitely like the look of that. But again, I think I want to put two shelves there. The only thing is I worry that when you come out of that bedroom that somebody will hit their head or I will hit my head or anybody in my family will hit their head because we're all pretty clumsy around here. I'm showing you this bowl. I purchased this at a thrift store, actually an antique store. And I was trying to show you what it looked like in the bottom one-handed, but it just didn't work out. One of these days, I'll take all that out and I'll show you what it looks like. But I just love the look of that bowl. And then we'll do another lap around and we'll come to an end of our hallway makeover. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully you will hit that subscribe button and hopefully you will hit the bell so you can be notified the next time that I post a video. 
and hopefully you will like my channel. I really do appreciate all of you. All of you have been so supportive of me and I really appreciate it so much. I really am excited to be here and I'm so excited to have all of you. So thank you. I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching again and I hope that you guys will stay safe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.